Hello everyone, how are you? My name is Kenneth and I work at the uh, La Selva Biological Station for 17 years already and I would like to um, show you a little bit of this place and what we do here. So for those who have never heard about La Selva, uh, it is run by the Organization for Tropical Studies and this is a consortium of institutions in different countries around the world. Uh, our goal is research, conservation and education and we have a lot of different people from many different places who come here a wide variety of times. So it could be a few days, several months, or many, many years, depending on their subjects, depending on their uh, research, depending on their grants. <laughs> so it varies a lot. Um, today I'm gonna show you a very brief um, walk about the, the garden and the facilities so you can see a little bit of this place. So we're going to walk a little bit and I'll mention um, more of this, of this place. So, um, as I was mentioning, some of the uh, researchers we have, they may come for a, a different um, periods of time. So, they are working with anything that has to do with the tropical rainforest, which is what we have here. By the way, today is a little bit cloudy, so I hope the the light is okay on the recording but uh, being cloudy it's kind of normal for a place like this so these people who come here they work with anything that has to do with this area they uh, basically propose um, or, or send a proposal of their project and it's analyzed and then once it's approved we have these people coming to La Selva and uh, working here for many many different days. Um, one of the requirements though is that all these research, all these projects that are done here um, must leave a copy of the results for our library. And in terms of uh, research and education, this is one of the main contributions the Organization for Tropical Studies does to science. And um, all this information is public, it's in our library and anyone can access to that. In the late years with the technology, many of this um, information is also on the website. So it's also digital and it's even more um, easy to access for many different people. So we are located in the uh, Caribbean lowlands of the country. And right now we're on a very um, interesting bridge we have. It's basically the only connection we have from the administrative area to the uh, uh, scientific area and um, the other way is swimming <laughs> using the river <laughs> so basically this is the only uh, access so this is the Puerto Viejo river it's one of the wide uh, rivers in the area right now it's at the average level but the water can change a lot it could be really really high and during the uh, the very rainy times it can be even close to the bridge sometimes so this is a very nice spot to come relax and if you like nature to basically just watch nature like birds or um, often you may see different species of uh, uh, reptiles like turtles or caimans in the rivers uh, aquatic birds there's also sometimes iguanas on the branches and many different species so it's a pretty nice place to just uh, enjoy nature or, or uh, to find um, a subject you need to, um, to study. Um, farther on the bridge, there's also a nice place to see some of these um, plants we have that we call epiphytes. All these uh, species you see in the branches are basically uh, species that we call epiphytes uh, among we have ferns and we have orchids, we have cactus, bromeliads and a lot of different things. So this is also a very nice spot to have all these species from a different angle. Not to see them from the ground but you can see them uh, from the eye level as well. Um, then continuing in, in the other side we're almost uh, finishing with the, with the bridge. We're gonna see a little bit of the facilities we have. Um, most of the researchers we have are from elsewhere. We have some from Costa Rica, but we have a little bit of people from many different places. Uh, 
and they need to all these facilities to stay here so uh, we have some of the cabins some of the uh, uh, classrooms I'm, I'm gonna show you in a minute one of the uh, projects or the uh, uh, interesting things people do here or they have done in the past is using these interesting devices that are called uh, motion sensing cameras so basically well we have these ones right here on the bridge now because we have um, some um, uh, felines and other uh, species of animals who have um, who like the bridge basically so they eventually pass and we want to catch them in the in the cameras basically they are um, uh, prepared with the motion sensing sensor I'm sorry a, a sensor with of motion and when something pass and is, is moving in front of them they triggers the camera and take the picture so that's basically how what we do with these cameras. Of course, this is on the bridge, but you can put them in the in the forest, uh, near the trails, or within the forest, uh, depending on the species you're looking for. In the uh, late years, those cameras have been a very interesting device in generating a lot of information, especially of some species who are really hard to see, and they're very hard to study. So uh, this is a very interesting device. Um, Back there, behind the trees, which is hard to see right now, you can see some of the cabins, some of the roofs at least, <laughs> that you can see from here. Uh, those are some cabins for researchers who stay here. And on this other side, we have one of the classrooms. There is more on the other side, where uh, students come and um, have their field courses. Uh, there's Another species which is very interesting and very abundant here at La Selva, and we have it here right now, this is um, the leaf cutter ants. Those ants are really, really interesting. They are um, really hard workers, and they're constantly carrying all those pieces of leaves. So probably many of you already know them and have heard about them, but for those who have never hear about the uh, the uh, ants they're carrying all these pieces of leaves and organic material to make a compost in the in the nest and then uh, produce a fungus with the compost then they feed on the fungus so they are farming their food all the ants you see on the trail are basically females who are working um, there's a little tiny ant that are on the leaves they are carrying and those are called minimas the minimas are in charge to protect the leaves against intruders like flies who lay eggs and this kind of thing so it's a very organized colony very organized uh, society of insects if we can call them that way and it's a very interesting and abundant species here as you can see even in the in the garden um, we have some things that some of the projects in the past have left for uh, for the Silva to show people. One of those is this uh, screen or, or light trap. So basically it's a, a piece of blanket with the light. We turn the light here at night and this light is reflected uh, on the blanket and this reflection will attract or hopefully will attract some of the nocturnal insects, especially the flying ones and then researchers can either look at them or study behavior or collect them or whatever they need. So that's uh, one way to, to enjoy or study insects we have. There's many other techniques, but that's one. So over here we have, well, this is basically the garden area. We already crossed the bridge and we're in the scientific side. Um, the black things you see back there are shade houses. And we use the shade houses to control the light conditions and mainly uh, work with seeds or germinate plants or study um, uh, saplings and all these things. So one of those has uh, a lot of orchids which is also part of one of the projects we have uh, called Flora Digital or Digital Flora uh, and the idea is to uh, upload lots and lots of different pictures to the uh, our website um, and it's a uh, 
digital inventory of the plants in this region so part of that is having all these pictures all the information of every plant and all this thing and that's also gathered in the herbarium which is the like the museum of plants in the cell. Um, these are more facilities now so we have the ambient lab over there some of the offices the herbarium and, and all these um, places where people come to work basically one of the main reasons for people to come to La Selva is that we're very close to uh, San Jose and also um, the facilities are just next to the forest so it's pretty easy to come pretty easy to access to all these facilities and pretty easy to access the forest uh, we have a network of trails of more of um, uh, 60 kilometers of trails so uh, you basically can use bicycles like those ones you can see <laughs> that's the laboratory uh, a lot of people use uh, bicycles to go on the trails much faster you can carry equipment and be back on time for lunch <laughs> so that's one more facility so many of the trails are paved like this other trails are um, just dirt trails so these are some of the main facilities we have and um, I would like to add just to, to finish with this that um, participating on the workshop here in La Selva it's a very interesting um, plus because you can develop your project but you have the forest right next to you and that really add a plus to any activity you do either educational or research or just tourism in case you want to come just as a visitor as well so um, that's what I wanted to say I hope you have enjoyed this very short video or this very short explanation and uh, we all hope you can come here next year on the workshop and enjoy thank you very much and see you soon bye